What's going on, guys? I laugh. I chuckle every time I say that now. Um, just doing a little equipment update. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, and I am still alive. Uh, Dan from Trimmers LLC. I'm still kicking. Tired, but still kicking. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm feeling it now. It's getting towards the end of the season here. Another six weeks. Then we got some full cleanups, stuff like that, going into December. Pretty much the first week of December. Pretty much by Thanksgiving, it's pretty much wrapping up up here in the Northeast. But um, six weeks of day to day grind you know, stuff going on, then it slows down, and, you know, but anyway, uh, here's the Raptor, um, it's got like 63 hours on it now, um, uh, running like a champ, um, no issues, starts, cuts like a, cuts real good, I mean, as much as you're gonna expect from, uh, you know, $3,000 mower, you know, cuts real nice. Uh, you guys seen some videos on it, so does stripe. Um, cuts nice. The only issue with it that I found that's the only gripe that I have about this mower. Um, for any of you guys that are looking, maybe looking, but for some reason, to save ten dollars, maybe Hustler decided to only put two anti-scalp wheels on this mower um you know it's pretty much you know you could buy anti-scalp wheels online 10 bucks why well, they wouldn't at least put three on you know i i have no idea pretty much you know you can buy a, a husqvarna for 2300 or a toro there's 42 inch, $2,200 one, and you're getting three uh, anti scalp wheels at least, minimum. <clears throat> but they decided to put two on it. But besides that, because this mower will scalp the shit out of any kind of hill, you know, just to let you know, if you're going up and down hills, you know, like those little gullies and stuff, this stuff, this mower will scalp the shit out of it, just to let you know. But, you know, pretty much they all kind of will. I mean, an anti-scalp wheel isn't going to really save you. This isn't, you know, they say this is a floating deck. This isn't no floating deck. You know, if it doesn't have chains on it, it's pretty much not floating. You know, this is a pretty much, when you set the height at three inches, it's set at three inches. It ain't going up or down, really. Um, you know, when you have the chain holding it, you know, when it, you have it set, it can kind of, you know, go with the flow, so to speak. But, you know, a lot of people think if it has anti-scalp wheels on it, you're, uh, you know, you're not going to. Well, the word anti-scalp wheels don't really mean anti-scalp. Because you will scalp um, your lawn if you go up hills and down hills. And, you know, certain gullies and stuff like that. So, to get off that subject, um, besides that, everything else is good on it. Love it. Kawasaki engine. You know, can't beat it. Starts up. I mean, like I said, these mowers, the biggest thing with these kind of mowers is the engine. I mean, all this other stuff will last forever. You know, the deck. You can have a stamp deck and get... Man, I mean, look at that guy. Uh, he has the Toro. Oh, man, I can't remember his name. He has this Toro. He's a, he has a big channel. He's like 3,000 subscribers or something. He's big. Ah, oh, damn it. Anyway, he has this Toro. He's got like 1,600 hours on this thing. I think stripes amazingly, too. Oh, damn. The hell's his name? Well, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, you can comment below. But that guy has a Toro with a stamp deck on it. It's probably got fifteen to two thousand hours on it. 
So, you know, like I was saying, I mean, the, these decks will last forever. As long as you don't, you know, run over rocks and, uh, you know, push the blade up into the deck and the, the blade cuts the deck, shit like that, which actually a friend of mine just did. But anyway, um, you know, it's everything's going to last. You know, the tires are going to last. The wheels are going to last. If you got to get new ones, you got to get new ones. Shit like that. But, you know, you know, the PTO switch might go. But overall, if the engine is good, you're going to keep cutting. So that's basically, you know, why I got this mower. And, you know, I recommend... Well, and it has the fab deck. You know, like I said, it's you can't buy anything like this mower out there in the market still. To this day, four years later, uh, since this mower came out, still no one has even come close to it. Cub Cadet has a fab deck, but it's with a Kohler engine. Um, I think Toro has a $3,000 fab deck now, but uh, that's what a their own engine now toro engine i don't know what the hell that is some aftermarket chinese shit i guess but you know 29 for a cowie and a fab you're not gonna beat it anyway off the mower for a second you guys know i got this uh this thing is great by the way i am gonna be returning it because one of the major reasons i got it uh was for the, the battery and the charger, but I'm going to be getting a, a new impact driver that comes with a charger and a, a battery, not a five amp hour, but uh, excellent, excellent, excellent uh, blower. It's the only blower I've been using for the last month, but I just... I don't know how I feel about using this type of product. Not that it doesn't work and it's light. I love it. I, I, there's no real reason why I'm going to bring it back. Only, the, no, the real reason is the batteries and the charger. And it was 179 bucks. You know, Old Faithful here, my steel. This is going to get... It's hooked up with the vacuum on it, but I'm going to be taking it off here shortly. And, um, you know, putting it back to the blower. But, you know, like I said, this... This blower costs like 199 bucks, so for 20 bucks more, you get another uh, another steel. But this was great. But this is just like an equipment update. If any, I don't want any. If anyone was thinking of getting this, <coughs> it's light as shit. 400 CFM. You know my steel over there has this 418, but something's not. It just I don't think this is putting out 400. It says four. I mean it's good. Real good. Gets the job done. More than more than you could imagine. But um, I don't think it's pushing 400 CFM. Because if that's 418, eh, there's a big difference there. But, um, all right, so that's that with the blower and the uh, mower. This sucker is uh, running real good. Pretty much starting up on the first or second pull now. Um, Got around 15, 16 hours on it. Um, yeah, so nothing more to really update on this. Um, I might do an end of the year type of thing, video on it. Um, I had a huge job this week. I was telling Dan from Trimmers, I had some mulch. that I, I redid this whole front, um, you know, the whole front. Um, their whole bunch of, like mulch area, you know, where they have shrubs and, you know, they had like a tree, this, uh, this rose bush and all kinds of crap. They had, they had a box wood, uh, stuff like that. Let me tell you, I was going to have my chainsaw out to take a lot of this stuff out. A recipe saw, let me tell you, if any of you guys, um, you know, don't want to use your chainsaw because it's really not that. You know, it's probably like an inch or two, maybe two and a half inches of, um, you know, the, the 
diameter of the tree. Two or three inches. This thing will work. Uh, it works perfect. I was surprised. I saw it sitting there next to my blower. I'm like, hey, let me use, let me just bring this. And I started using it, um, you know, and I used it the whole day. I cut around six or seven shrubs, trees, stuff like that, front type uh, stuff uh, that they had in front of the house. I'm beat. I can't think. And you could probably tell by the way I pronounced uh, the diameter. So I know people are going to say, I pronounced that wrong because I know I'm not saying it right, but that's what's coming out right now. Um, yeah, so I started using this, and I didn't put it down the whole day. I didn't have to bring out my chainsaw. So just, you know, if you have one of these, um, you know, if you got to take down all kinds of bushes and shrubs, little type trees that are in, you know, people's front mulch, you know, bunch of mulch, uh, I can't even think of that. Jesus Christ. You know, they're um, mulch beds. There we go. Um, this works. A nice 18 volt uh, recip saw. Cut everything down. I got a Milwaukee. Make sure you get a Milwaukee blade on it. They make different types of wood blades, but I never seen one like this. I got this for like five bucks at Home Depot. And uh, I this thing stays in there pretty much permanently. Whatever I have to cut with it wood wise. Um, it works great. I had to beat the shit out of it doing it this weekend, but still running like a champ. My always my set of tools I use. I beat the shit out of it. Cause they're cheap. They're great. They work great. I love them, but I don't really care about them because I don't know. Like I wouldn't bring my beautiful Milwaukee or my DeWalt uh, cutting down shrubs for some reason. But anyway. All right, so there's the chainsaw. What else? There's uh, I've used this actually a little bit in the last couple of weeks. Um, like I said, I, I did a couple jobs uh, in some mulch beds. You know, you get behind the mulch bed, you're tearing stuff down. There was some leaves back there, so I've been using this um, on my trailer. The uh, 150 BT is still running like a champ. I love it. This is like the third year I'm using this sucker now, and Starts up, second pull every time. Husqvarna. Yeah, this is um, Red Max's Husqvarna for you guys who don't know it. I think they make the best blowers in the business. Steel are great, I guess. I, that's the only thing, you know, I love steel products, steel everything, but I just never had a problem with any of these Husqvarna Red Max uh, blowers, so I never even tried really one. So I had a VR600. That I borrowed for a season a couple years back from a buddy. He let me borrow it. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. But this is what I have. So I'm not switching. Let me check out this picture. Is that great? That's nice, ain't it? My daughter drew that. Anyway. Um, what else? All right, yeah. So, yeah, oh, I got my uh, hedge trimmer here. Beautiful, beautiful job. This thing's great. Love it. And I got my two trimmers right there. I switch back and forth. I rarely put both of them on my trailer anymore. Um, I basically take a, one of them and I take my, uh, my little Toro power head with the edger attachment. Does the job fine. I love it. But that's pretty much it. So, uh, I'm trying to make this cool vacuum. Akita. But, uh. That's pretty much it. So I'm coming close to 15 minutes of bullshitting about pretty much nothing. But I figured I'd let you guys in on my kind of a equipment update, how everything's going, what I've been using and stuff. But all right, let me get going. Any comments or questions, let me know. Talk to you later.